I actually went to a boarding school, Interlochen Arts Academy, for high school. And so at that point, I mean, I had always been interested in science, but I was also a musician, and I played the cello from a fairly young age. And when I was in high school, I thought, okay, I'm going to become a concert cellist, and that was the path that I was going to take. But I missed science so much. <laughs> I mean, I was still taking academic courses in that school, and at that time, physics. And I just, I didn't want to dedicate all of my time to music and not be able to become a scientist. And so I sort of switched uh, my path at that point. And you know, when I went to college, that's when I was like, well, I need to pursue science, and music can be a hobby, but it wasn't going to be my main um, career. So. And ch pool is another. <laughs> so I started playing pool when I was in college, um, just as, you know, an activity, something to do, and uh, was actually fairly naturally good at it. And, you know, it's, it's math, it's geometry, and it's physics. At least that's what I told my mom at the time. She was concerned I was playing too much pool. Uh, but I, you know, I, I became very competitive and um, actually spent a lot of time um, going to tournaments, traveling, um, you know, out of state, um, actually in some international tournaments as well. So I was very, very into pool until I started working on my uh, my thesis, and then I didn't have time to play pool anymore. So, so in different times of my life, I've sort of um, had you know some focus on one thing like music, and then switched to you know physics, and then pool kind of got in there, and then back to you know astrophysics. Um, so those are kind of the three main interests that I've had throughout my life.